Don't let these grown ass kids and kids that you tried to help and tried to raise and tried to do for make you feel guilty for doing the best that you can. They can go to hell. All your parents with uh, entitled kids. Shout out all the parents this morning that, had, that did their very best. Make sure that your kids have everything they need. Again, like she said, if I gave you some guidance or some advice, uh, I always use the Jay-Z line. Hove did that. So hopefully you don't have to go through that. That's what he mm -hmm. said in the song. So I'm telling you, I'm not telling you this for my health. I'm telling you because I either went through it or I, ex I experienced it from somebody around me. Yeah, but so you I'm know, trying to people, keep you from not just going. like us. We all got to live and learn. So, you and, know, and that's but why you I got guess some what? people that's a little bit more hard headed than others. Hey, hey, put your helmet on. If you are headed, put your helmet on because you <laughs> well, punked that head. Shit out. <laughs> you don't want to get a concussion. <laughs> So video number three. <laughs> so hey, look, hey, look. Now, last week, y'all, we came down on us the single mothers. So now we going we going we we, we gonna root for the single mothers. So so get them the props. single mothers. We gonna give y'all y'all props tonight, right now. So we got video number three. We have how do you maintain a healthy relationship with your grown kids who blame you for not giving them enough? Mm. So let's hear what Ricky Smiley has to say. Okay. them kids. Ooh. You know, that's my motto right there. Ooh. Yeah, man. It's this strong podcast. Aww. Let's go. Don't let these grown ass kids and kids that you tried to help and tried to raise and tried to do for make you feel guilty for doing the best that you can. They can go to hell. All your parents with uh, entitled kids. Shout out all the parents this morning that had, that did their very best. Make sure that your kids have everything they need. Um, from toiletries to clothes, sports, and back and forth to basketball practice, football practice, trying to get dinner, trying to wash, fold clothes, and then got braces for, and then worked and scrapped, and worked all night and worked extra jobs to do what you can for your kids, only for them to grow up and, and turn out the way some of them some of them have turned out, making the decisions that they make, and you try to teach them the right way to do, to do things. Only for your kids you make sacrifices for to grow up to hear you that you weren't there for me and and you didn't do enough stuff for me and you didn't do this and you didn't do that. Some of them just choose bad. Some of them choose to smoke weed. Some of them choose to drink. Some of them choose to go left when you say go right just because they want to do something different and they want to do what they want to do. I want to free you today and let you know that you are awesome. And if don't nobody appreciate you and know the struggle I do, and I understand, and I just want to give you some, empower you today to not feel guilty about having to work. I don't care what these damn kids say. No matter what your situation is with your kids or whatever, they start feeling that way and getting older or somebody get in their head and start talking them against you that you did everything you could do to be the best parent you can be and we're not talking about perfect because it ain't no perfect parent and i know i'm not perfect i just want you to, to to feel confident and go to bed and you don't owe these kids nothing right let the church say amen let, 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 me tell, let me tell you all this before i kick this off to y'all true story hand to god when i grad when i graduated high school at my graduation my mom said let me let me see your key and I'm like, what? all right, I give my and she took my keys off that fucking key ring and shit. Eighteen years old, that's when I had to leave the motherfucking house. Oh, Damn. And then, oh, my mom ain't fucking play. Now, no notice now, at all whatsoever. Uh, no, let me tell you something. I grew, up, <clears throat> I grew up without a father, but I had a village. I had a football coach, I had a baseball coach. Mm -hmm. I had my uncles, I had my grandfather. When I got arrested for doing dumb shit when I was young, I called my grandmother. Hoping that she would bail me out. I mean, I was in Delaware County Prison. Mm. Hoping that she would get me out. You know what she said to me? What she said? What did you do? And I told her, I told her what happened. And she said, well, baby, don't drop the soap. Oh, shit. I sh hand to God. She's like, oh, well. Hand to God. She said, that's on you. Sometimes Fuck you them got them kids, kids got to learn. You got, yes. They got, yeah, they to, got learn. to learn. It's Fuck like you can't kids. keep feeling sorry for these kids. It's like you do what you can. And at the end of the day, they're going to do what they want at the end of It's like they will mm -hmm. put you into an early grave, stressing you the hell out. Mm, yes. Listen, Bernie Mac, shout out to the OG, rest in peace, Bernie Mac. He said it on the Kings of Comedy. I ain't going to let these kids kill me. Right. I ain't going to let these kids kill me. So again, I got 10. I got two eight-year-olds. Guess what? 
They yesterday I got in the house at six o'clock. Between cooking and this and that, I ain't get done that till nine o'clock. I ain't get to do nothing for myself. So mm-hmm. I wish one of my sons would grow up and be a rapper and talk about he he grew up in a struggle. Mm. I'ma whoop his ass. <laughs> well, you know what? Damn. First of all, as much as much as I had to put into raising y'all, paying for football four hundred dollars, camp. Fifteen hundred dollars, shoes. This uh, uh, vacation. You know how much a vacation is with three kids. Mm, expensive. You know how much it is. You with know three how much. Kids? It, you know how much vacation is for four kids. So it's like at the end yeah, of the I, day, I four. I'm sacrificing. You know what I could be spending that money on? Man. I could be at the strip clubs. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's why my youngest just turned 18 a couple months ago and Stella's getting her groove oh, back. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Oh, <laughs> Mrs. Nasty Time. No, it's Mrs. Honey Dip <laughs> Tea. Okay. okay. Honey Can we dip stay on course, tea. please? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But Dang. again, these kids, like, at the end of the day, if you really, and this is for the parents that really put in the work, you at the football games, you at the practices, you, you know, you, you stretching yourself as thin as possible, and you really putting in the work, at the end of the day, yes, give yourself a pat on the back. Do not let these kids stress you out. If you're doing the best you can, let them make the decision. Some will listen. They'll see. All right, my mom, my dad telling me this. I'm going to follow it. But if you ain't if you ain't following, if they just want to do their own thing, like Ricky Smiley said, let them. Because my grandma used to say one thing that still lives on today: a hard head. Oh, make a soft, make ass. A soft ass, right. and they will find out. Us, we it took us a little longer because guess what? We didn't have social media. We right. didn't have access yeah. to everything. Yep. With right. them, it yep. happens quickly. Right? Because you'll see that. Oh, I tried this; it didn't work. Well, I'm doing this. Yeah, you tried it, and because you didn't listen. And now you fell on your ass. Right. As your parent, I will be here to help you up. I'm not going to coddle you. You're going to fix your own wounds. So if your ass is scraped up, that's on you to fix. I'll help you up. But I ain't going to. Uh-uh. I don't, yeah, I don't do it. We got some comments in here. So we got Jaleel. He's saying he a thousand percent agree with Ricky. He said it's either never enough or some say it's just too much. Mm-hmm. And then you get T.Y. Yes. She said, tell them they have the opportunity to now figure it out. Look, my, my now grown kids. They would tell you that is my line. Figure it out. That's all I <laughs> yeah. say. I literally say figure it out. I don't say nothing else. Figure it out. I mean, you know, now. Like, because my thing is like, yeah, and to a certain extent, yeah, I'll still help you. I'm still going to be that, you know, nurturing mother. Yeah. But when I get to the point where I'm helping you and you still want to do what you want. And then I told you, OK, do this. And then you still do the opposite. And then now you want to come back to me when shit hit the fan. But I already told you what to do the first time, but you did yeah. the opposite. So now you want me to fix it? No, I'm not going to fix it. Now you figure it out. Literally, that is my line. Figure I mean, it out. I mean, the the key is is you don't you don't want to be the enabler. You want to help them because right. I, I mean, as that's a that's why I said I'm gonna pick you up. Yeah, you know you. Oh, I gotta help my kid, but you don't want to be up, the enabler. But I ain't doing it for you. Again, like she said, if I gave you some guidance or some advice, uh, I always use the Jay Z line. Hove did that so hopefully you don't have to go through that that's what he mm-hmm. said in the song so i'm telling you i'm not telling you this for my health i'm telling you because i either went through it or i actually I experienced it from somebody around me yeah but so you i'm know, trying some to keep people, you from not just go- like us we all gotta live and learn so you and, know and that's but why you got guess some what? people that's a little bit more hard-headed than others hey hey put your helmet on if you are headed put your helmet on because you, <laughs> you, like, that head. Shit out. you don't want to get a concussion <laughs> figure so, it out so so comment number one it says, I will cut anyone off who jeopardizes my peace. Mm. No exception. Come on now. S- S- preach, preach right preacher. There. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's a super preach that right there. Me. Let me get right there. Uh, that is that's me. a super preach right there, boy. Yeah, but that. you know what the thing is? <clears throat> you what? got some people that say it. But then don't do but it. But don't do it. Shh. <laughs> I know several people that are like, oh, yeah, my, I'm going to protect my peace and I'm going to cut. Yeah, right. You still talking to the same person that's been putting you through BS for the past two years. Not me. <laughs> like, I know me. Like, I get to a certain point. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. But then I'm going to just get to a point where it's like, all right, you know what? Now it's time for me to just, like, back off a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Because I, I get to a point because I'm the type of person I'm going to help you. But then now you draining me. Like, and I'm not going to have somebody drain me, especially when I have my own 
you know, pr progress that I'm working on. So you're not going to prohibit me from establishing my goals. So you know what? You go ahead, do what you're doing. Let me work on me. But you know, I, I'm 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 going to say this before we go to the next comment. I'm going to say this: my issue with a lot of these, I don't want to say new parents now is we are raising our sons like we're raising our daughters. We're raising them to wear slippers and fucking oh hair nets. Oh my god! Oh fucking, my god! Excuse my language. I keep cursing. Oh, we, bonnets, hair nets, bonnets. I mean, come oh, on now. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't raise a man. You don't, you don't raise a boy like that. It's sickening. And I've always said, no, not to the women. A, a woman cannot raise a boy to be a fucking man. Again, that ain't happening. Again, what the women, women are more of the nurturers. In yeah. order to be a nurturer, what do you have to have? You have to have emotion. You have to have empathy, passion, those things. But you cannot nurture. give those traits to a, so, to a young man. Again, if you if you have that quality, you, you have emotion. The one thing that we know that affects decision making in everybody is emotion. When you are emotional, you do not normally, you do not make good decisions. You don't make good decisions. Right. So at the end of the day, that's why it's, you ha I tell my sons all the time. On a football field, on a soccer field, or whatever. Hey, listen, you emotional. That's not going to help you go and score a goal or or, or make the next play. You got to compartmentalize that emotion and get back to focusing. You could be emotional afterwards, but while you're mm -hmm. in that moment, you can't be. And so, I don't think that a lot of people are having those conversations with their sons or even their daughters, because no. even the, the girls now are way emotional. Where. They just start wilding. They want to fight. You know what? Beat you up. Like, you know what? You know what? The so reason crazy. why, and and I've seen this, and also at the same time, you also got to remember a lot of these parents, and not to say because I was a young parent, but everybody wasn't raised the same. A lot of these parents that I come across, they're too much trying to be their kids' friends Ooh, instead of their parents. There it is, right there. You oh, gotta there it is, be right the there. parent. There it is, right there. Listen, my mom said, "There it is." When, 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 when my sister was young, my sister she she'll be forty five next month. So when she was young, my mom said to my sister, she's like, okay, let's play. My sister said, okay, come on. Yeah, we could play. My mom said, well, what you want to play? My sister said, I'm going to be the mom. You be the daughter. My mom said, no. <laughs> and ain't, she said, we ain't not, she said, we're not even, we never going to play that. I'm always going to be your mom. She said, I'm never going to be your friend. She said, I, no. Yeah. <laughs> she said, I'm going to be friendly with you. I'm always going to be friendly, but I'll never be your friend because I don't want you to get it misconstrued. Right. We're never going to be on that level. So even when you old enough to drink or you old enough to go out or even have adult conversation, mm -hmm. it's still a level yes. you can't go past. Nah. Yes, yes, and yes, a lot yes. of people don't understand that. They want to make, the, again, like you said, make the kids their friends. They dress them up like the boyfriends that they don't have. They dress them up like the, the, the girlfriends and that they don't have. And it's also about respect. Yeah. Respect yeah. is a big factor too. Like, come on now. You know what? Like, yes, I understand. Like, like me. Perfect example. My kids are older. I have kids that are in their twenties, pushing their thirties. Right. So yeah, they'll have conversations, and you know, yeah, we'll play around. But also at the same time, don't disrespect me. Don't sit there and have no conversation, cursing and doing all this other. Stuff. Hold up. Watch your mouth. Uh, you know, mouth. you know, it's funny. My son. I mean, we be talking. My family is real close. We we are very close. I mean, we hug, kiss on the cheek, but won't. And we must we be talking, and he be like, "Shit, dad." Then he look at me. I look at him. Right. I, yeah, I know that word <laughs> slipped out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and, right. Unless you want this, and, and if you want this body shot to slip out my right arm, you might want to get yeah, it together. Hey, you better watch your mouth. Right. God damn it. Facts. <laughs> right. So so what we on? What we on? Comment number two. Two. So comment number two says, thank you for speaking to my broken heart. Yeah, no. And that comes from a woman. Mm -hmm. No. The kids ain't never going to break my heart. Because I put in too no, much No, no, work. no. She was saying no. thank you for speaking to her broken heart. No, that's what I'm saying. Her oh, heart okay, is broken okay. because yeah. them kids, they didn't mess her up. Them kids ain't doing that to me. Uh-uh. I'll, I'll, listen. We, if you want, if you want to fight, we can fight. Because, but look, <laughs> no, because I ain't even putting all that energy into it. You know what? You go do you. I'm doing me. I ain't fighting nobody. That's 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 the, the vibe you want. Okay, I'm, I'm doing me. Because at the end out. of the day, I am established. You're trying to get yourself together, and at the end of the day, you gonna need me before I need you. You hear that? Hmm. Y'all hear that? Sometimes she said. She need. said. Yeah, you gonna need me before I need yep. you. Y'all kids better get it together now. Shit. God damn it. Mama team playing that shit, y'all. Honey dip tea. Yeah, mama honey dip. 
<laughs> Spicy hot habanero. <laughs> Ain't playing in that. <laughs> so the last comment says, my 20-year-old told me she's grown. Let her make her own decisions. Yep. Y'all still can't play. You know, she said, y'all, st- y'all still can't yep. pay her damn phone bill. So, that's nope. what, so listen. I she can, grown, but she can't pay her phone but, bill. But this is what I be saying. And you ain't grown. I be saying that at the end of the day, y'all want the grown-up benefits but most most younger kids, yeah, the the, the uh, young adults, they want the grown up benefits, but they don't want the grown up responsibilities. responsibilities. Right, they don't work like that. Right, you can't <laughs> you go out have, and want to drink and have fun and turn up, be lit, but then you don't want to pay this phone bill. Because guess what? When August first come, and you like, yeah, let me call t- uh, Terquavion, see if he's gonna pick me up. <laughs> The baby on the everyone stay in trouble, yeah, don't they? And that yeah, phone go place. And listen, that phone go <laughs> doop, doop, doop. Why my phone not working? Remember, you was grown, right? Right. <laughs> Pay that grown phone bill, all right? Right. <laughs> I can give you this Obama right here if you just need to contact somebody. But no, we ain't doing that. <laughs> we not doing that. <laughs> oh my God, boy. These videos remind me of my fucking stories, man. I ain't remember my mom. My mom had co signed a car for me, man, when I was a kid. Shit, I ain't co signed shit. And and I was two months late on paying my phone bill. Ooh. Yo, it wasn't the bank that came to repossess that shit. Mm. It was your mama. My mom. <laughs> she had a yellow <laughs> vest on and everything. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you are behind on these payments, sir. Yeah, so my motherfucking Antoinette Tony came knocking on the door. Yeah, um, you two months late on your bill. I'm gonna need those keys. Yes. <laughs> And I'm standing in the door talking about, come on, Ma. Come and on. if you don't give me those keys, I'm going to report this car stolen. Oh, God. <laughs> well, my mom came, I mean, boy. She was a repo. Shout out to Mom. Oh, my God. Shout out to Mom. Big shout out to Mama. Dude. I now, ain't want you in the house, boy. I am not putting my name <laughs> on nobody's car. I've done that before. Not doing it again. Hold on, I'm whoa, not whoa, doing whoa, it for whoa, my whoa, kids. Whoa. Did you put it on your kids' name, or you, no. put, or you on a, a man a, that you a was dude. messing with? Oh, yeah. for real? Mm-hmm. He that man dingo put it on you like that? Well, no, it was Drop a couple people, that. so it wasn't. Whoa, whoa! It wasn't like whoa. that. Ooh. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Honey, oh. dip. They was dipping in that sauce. What? Hey, and there's plenty of it. Uh, oh. Okay, uh, video number four. Video number flag on the play, y'all. Before we get too deep into this. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, See. don't come at me if you if you can't. You're right. You can't. I, I apologize. Uh-huh. I uh, hold on, wait a minute. I'm ready for that comment. She said, don't come at her or don't oh, come on her. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all catching them all tonight. <laughs> no, no strays in the building. <laughs> this is a double entendre night. <laughs> Yeah. Y'all don't you play now. He said, don't oh come God. on her like that. Yo, they catching them all. <laughs> we we got to change studios. <laughs> Yo, my son, I'm hurt. This is the my only fan studio tonight. Damn. Oh, oh man, God. boy. This your podcast. This your podcast. Make sure you drop podcast. a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell and us what subscribe. To think. And thanks like, for all the new subscribers. Shout out to everybody.